time never passes for the Capitan, does it? With a female like woman like Tonio Dolores, huh? <laughs> See, but how long must we wait for him? The time it takes. <laughs> to the courtyard.
Madhouse, buddy? Si, senor. And the lunatics run the post station, too. You know if there's a carpenter around here? Segar, my brother. Go get him, will you? Si, senor. Sin demora. I go away. Come back. I'm sorry, Lindy, but this little rat's in a hurry to leave.
If I catch you, I'll tear you apart! I don't know who you are, mister, but... Uh... No, I'm only the power boy. How about a little something to keep your strength up? What's that? You offered me a drink? Maybe more than one. You thirsty? How do you know I'm dry? That was warm work, stranger. You're bound to need a drink or two. Oh, what are we waiting for? I'm thirsty, too. I ain't had a drink since I lost my last dollar. Doggone it! Them greedy varmints cleaned me out. They won my horse and won my saddle, too. Your milk, senor. Gracias, Doña Dolores. No, my saddle is sacred. What may I serve, caballeros? Something fresh to make you cool? Whiskey. Oh, just look at it, you heat me up. Senor, you shouldn't treat me like that. Okay, no offense meant, lady. Uh, give us some whiskey, pronto. You mean you was fighting just for an old saddle? Sure, but mine's a special saddle. We was playing poker and I lost all my money. Then I lost my pony, too. And then them varmints wanted my saddle as well. But I said, no, that saddle's sacred. It was my grandpa's. You know, when something's dear to a man, you sort of... Friend, I went and lost something that's very dear to me, too, and I'm looking for it. Or more. You recognize him? I don't. No. You, amigo? Oh, well, it's kind of hard to tell. Let me think. I might have known it. Can I see that, stranger? Wanted posters look alike. Isn't that right? Photographs aren't very clear, are they? But I'm certain they're four Mexican brothers go by the name of Cortez. Friends of yours? Mm. Not yet. I come here on purpose, figuring I'd get acquainted. Making the acquaintance of bandits is a risky business. Hey, have they done you dirty, friend? Because I'll smash them. Now hold your horses. No, they ain't. But they're gallows meat. And they represent quite a sum. Each of those bums is worth two grand. In the last few months, nobody's caused trouble around here. I'm the man you sent for. Who's a stranger looking for a carpenter? And you make coffins? Well, if the client's not too particular about it. Then make me up four coffins and pronto. Claro. How big do you want them? And when should they be ready, senor? Regular size. I'll make them fit. The Cortez brothers might need them. Uh, when, senor? Tomorrow. Corpses, I reckon, are perishable good. Where I come from, we get drunk at funerals. <laughs> Were you looking for the brothers, Cortez? Are you one of them? Por qué? Because I like to meet people face to face. Then turn around, gringo. <laughs> Little boys shouldn't fool around with firearms. <laughs> By the great bull of Bashan. Man, can you shoot? Doña Dolores, where are my men? They were here playing cards a little while ago. Ah! <laughs> well, so you're the Capitan, are you? Para acá, Capitan. <laughs> Come along now, they're waiting for you outside. Let's my soul. 
I'll never travel with that damn Wells Fargo again. The driver! Driver! My oh. head! Fox. It's beyond words, oh. Senora. Well, the last. Senor, when you go to bed later, will you be kind enough to turn down this lantern? Of course. Buenas noches, Doña Dolores. Buenas noches, senor. Uh, could you bring me up another hand towel? I notice there's one missing from my wash basin. I'm sorry, senor Fulton. I'll bring one up immediately. Believe me, these girls are all the same. They can only think of man. Madre de Dios, what is that shooting? Senor Fulton! Quick, help! Senor Fulton! What's going on? One moment, Doña Dolores. Let me go in alone, will you? Disappointed? It's a very old trick, but it usually works. Mm. Do you want a hand at poker? No, certainly not with a dummy. Because if I said I was glad to see you alive, I'd be stretching the truth. Mm. Well, that's nice to know. I'm all ears, amigo. Please, carry on. It's obvious that you want the price that's set on the Cortez brothers' heads. However, since I must recover a large consignment of gold... Mm. Where do you stand in this? As an agent for a bank in Silver City that was robbed by these four gentlemen some weeks ago. Hmm. And gold consignment? Bank? What have I got to do with all this? Let me explain. Well, you know that your potential corpses are much more useful to me alive. Might I ask you to... Put off your operations for a couple of weeks. It really shouldn't take me any longer. After all, a corpse on the hoof isn't perishable, is it? Whilst my bank... No need to tell me. It's as clear as a bell. Sorry, amigo. I've overdrawn my account. In that case, my good friend, I shall be obliged to liquidate your assets. Me, Fulton? Mm-hmm. You. Ah, well, bueno, I tell us just what I wanted. But this is for Senor Fulton. Oh, no, he won't need it. Come on. Pero, que hace, Senor? <laughs> Senor, you're no gentleman. No, no, of course I'm not. But let's you and me keep it a secret, shall we? Please, 
I don't want to. No, senor. Good. I am the widow, Elquivares Garcia, Morales de Ramirez, de Puerto Almiratas. And sure. I am not out of mourning yet. Yeah. I am a widow. Of course, sure. Oh. Ramon! Ramon! What the devil do you want? There's a killer staying at the Posada. He's looking for the Cortez brothers. What should we do? Sacramento. Is it true what you're saying? Yes, but don't worry. He's dead. I shot him myself while he was asleep. I told all of you to keep your eyes open and not to leave tracks. Why didn't you come straight back here instead of stopping at the Posada? Why, Mother de Dios? But if he's going to go kill us, then he Ramon Cortez, they are making a big mistake. These foolish gringos, they think they own Mexico. Wake up, all of you! Paco! Paco! Madre de Dios. We should have killed them all at the bank. I expected it would come to this. Uh, there's a price in our head, but we've got the gold. The faster we leave, the better, Ramon. Never. If you'd only listen, once in a while, we wouldn't have gotten ourselves into a mess like this. You're mad. What are you saying? He is dead, isn't he? Why are you so scared? Of course you're scared, because you know what will happen to a lot of you if you're caught. You and your boys. Where are your brains? The bank will never give up. Hold your tongue, Chiquita. I'm beginning to lose my patience. I might forget about the map of the gold mine and shoot you dead without a second thought. What are you waiting for, you murderer? I'm not the least bit frightened of you and your men. You'll talk once I start on you, and when I finish, you'll pray for death. Let me start on an hour, Ramon. I'll make her talk esta perra rubia. Don't waste any more time. The sooner she talks, the better. She's quite right. If you'd listen to us, we'd have been rid of that nuisance a long time ago. More than enough gold for everybody. We should have been miles away already. You're all as ignorant as ever. Without me, you'd run straight back into the jaws of Diaz at Puerto Nuevo. Wouldn't you, muchachos? And you know what that means, don't you? Very well, Ramon. Tomorrow you'll decide. Tomorrow. Always tomorrow. <clears throat> See, you did a good job. Your brothers merely argue. Hmm. Instead of just arguing, why don't we split the gold and get out of here before another bounty killer comes? Gotten it last night. Muchas gracias, senor. I have to go to Rio Nuevo. I hope I arrive in time to load the provisions on the stage. Hasta luego, senora.
What is going on? You are three days late. Why did you not come before? Couldn't get away. Now there's a killer at the Posada. And he's ruined all our plans. A killer? Another gringo? What does he want, Bobby? Yes. He's looking for the Cortez. If he gets those brothers, that means no more gold. But if I stay in Mexico, Diaz will get me and I'll be hanged. Comprendes? I'll be hanged. I'll be hanged. No, no, querido. Don't say that. It'll be all right. Madre de Dios. Another gringo and a killer, too. Why did you not kill him? If you weren't so impulsive, you wouldn't be on the run from Diaz, too. You wouldn't have to hide for killing that officer. I know. I know. You keep saying that. I kill him and I do it again. Even... If you don't, explain how I came to be in your room that night. Oh, Pedro, if you hadn't arrived in time, I'd never have been able to look you in the eyes again. Don't get jealous. You know I belong to you alone. Remember, Dolores, you've got to find out where they put the gold. We must have it if we are ever going to get out of this place. It's very hard to make Ramon talk, you know that. I must win his confidence first. It seems to me a woman like you has more than the necessary equipment. What is this? I have never seen it. See, I forgot to tell you. I found it in a chest of drawers. Or in a... Or there, Pedro, huh? Pedro, you're hurting. Let go of me, please! Oh. No, Pedro. Someone near the Posada, but if anyone was following me, I managed to get rid of him on the road. <laughs> Trust you to give me away. You want to see me dead, don't you? You pay for this. Garcia Morales de Ramirez, we thought you were dead. Oh. <laughs> 
mistake to miss me. How does it feel to have a knife at your throat, Ramirez? It's a weapon for cowards. I'd say you got something on your mind. You don't attack your friends, Ramirez. You're not my friend. Now behave yourself. I ain't stupid, Ramirez. You're in big trouble, ain't you? I could give you a hand. What do you want from me? Tell me where I can uh, find Cortez and his brothers. You know. Why should I tell you? Because it suits you. If you're reasonable, maybe I could uh, help you get out of Mexico with your wife. Whether she wants to or not. You've got to leave Mexico. Why should I? Because if you don't, you'll be hunted by the law. And at night, you'll sleep with one eye open. And you'll be on the run for the rest of your life. Now, you wouldn't like that, would you, Ramirez? Where did your wife get that locket from? Tell me, what are you mixed up in this for? The gold and Ramon. Bueno, if the blood money is what you want, I will take you to him. Now that's a reasonable way of thinking. <laughs> Catch. The blood money will do.
Sir, I don't carry oh, oh. money with me, I assure you. But I can't <laughs> yeah, I swear it. I swear it. Well, this is a small change. Look more carefully, Manuel. You will find something uh. worth having. Time's over. Rise and shine. Wakey, wakey. I'm your friend. 
What's the matter with you? You punchy, you've been drinking a little too much of that white mule. Huh? Get up, stupid. Yeah, I'm a friend. You're my friend. Yeah, sure. I reckon all those wild swings are love pats, huh? Now what are you lost? Huh? Now what's wrong, boy? Why aren't you laughing? My saddle. I want my saddle. My saddle. Where's my saddle? My saddle. Thief of polecats tore my saddle. Grandpa's saddle. By the great bull of Basin. Oh, be quiet, you big booby. I'll give you a horse and saddle. I don't want just any old saddle. I want the saddle Grandpa gave me, my saddle. I can't stand it much longer, Mr. Fulton. You've got to help me, please. My pa discovered a vein of gold a few months ago. Ramon wants me to tell him where the place is, but I don't know. Really, I don't. I swear it, Mr. Fulton. You've got to make him believe it. Please. Come on. If you expect me to take that line of nonsense, you must be crazy. Don't bother me about it. It's not my concern, young lady. You're just like they are, and I was fool enough to think you're a human being. Be patient, because sooner or later, something's bound to turn up. No one in sight yet. I can't make out why they're taking so long. After all, it's a regular hold-up. Just an honest day's work. We may be bandits, hombre, but you are no better than we are. Depends on your point of view. A moralizing gambler who fills his pockets with our filthy money, is that right? One moment. I win my money honestly. Claro. The same filthy money we take from other people's pockets fills yours. Shame on you. Is it possible you don't realize what miserable sinners you are? Don't preach to me, you Yankee bitch! No, Pablo, don't take it like that. Chiquita, keep your trap shut before I break your throat! A gentleman never hits a lady, especially a lovely lady. Tu tienes razón. Beautiful like the morning. Right, Fulton. Ah, here they all come. If you tell Ramon that I've been fooling around, I'll make you pay. Of ammunition. We might as well have stayed home. I wasn't expecting you, senor. What brings you here? A surprise, Ramon. It's not for my usual poker game. Well, clearly, man. Today, it's a little more broken. important. It's giant. May I speak to you alone? Vamos. What happened, Paco? Sacrament. We came across a crazy gringo who nearly killed a lot of That son of a Yankee whore. It seemed that this man in his cell were everywhere. The saddle. It was like a raging tornado. What saddle? As strong as a bull, the one the fight was about in the Posada. Here it is. Have not the Americano lost his money and his horse to us at cards? I wonder what it is that makes this saddle so extraordinary, eh? Huh. Hijo de perra, the next time I meet him, I'm going to feel him so full of lead. And I wish I knew who it was who was shooting at us from the hilltop. Comprendes? Are you certain, Fulton, that the bounty killer's alive? I saw him leave an hour ago from the Posada. You'd better move fast if you want to catch him. If that hombre comes this way, he'll get a warm welcome. Yes, but you'd better be quick. Ah, I almost forgot. If you recall our conversation, you and I have a little agreement. How much for the information? Mm, I'm not greedy. You can do what you like with him. But I want the Yankee alive. You're to hand him over as my hostage, if you want to know what my price is. You got a garage against him? <laughs> you might say so.
Tell me what happened. We were playing poker with his gringo who was losing. When suddenly he says... What did Fulton say? Cabrona, you can't do a thing right. So you shot him yourself, did you? I can't trust anyone, not in my own family. The killer's alive. Paco, oye, hey, Manuel. Manuel, you right. Bring him to me alive. You hear? Pancho, vamos. Anda, anda. Vamos, adelante. Vamos. We speed up. Paco, take your meat to the left. Vamos. Mirad. Get it conmigo. Ha! Better go back to the facade. Well, Grandpa must be turning over in his grave, poor old buzzard. Even a lot of stinking polecat crooks. Uh, Great <laughs> bull of and I'll... Ah, uh, be quiet, you old grizzly. Who might it have been that stole your saddle? Those cheating rattlesnakes who was playing poker with me. Her? And two of them looked a lot like the photographs on your wanted notice. You mean the Cortez brothers? Uh, you got me there, buddy. I do know they was the same faces I saw on that notice. Say, are you sure of that? They was the living, spitting image. Why don't you give me a hand? We'll make crow bait out of them. I sure will. Hey, wait a minute. Going back, ain't we? Yes, sir. A while back, I told you so. Well, then, I'm going to take the shortcut. OK, boy. It's your choice. If you want to know the truth, I'm going after my saddle. I guess I don't need you with me. Man without a horse don't get very far in this country. Come on back to the saddle. No, the saddle's mine, and Grandpa wouldn't have wanted me to lose it. Well, Brenda's. Mm, do as you please. Besides laughing so much with fright. <laughs> what makes you think I'm frightened? I have no fear. 
Well, you wouldn't keep us hogtied if you wasn't scared. <laughs> Bolton! This bounty killer tells very humorous jokes. Oh, yes. I should have told you, everyone knows the Americans, like the English, have a sense of humor. They'll make a joke lying on their deathbeds, even though it kills them. Cards? Just two. Three for me. Si, si, comprendo. When they smell death approaching, they always behave like this. Hey, do you smell anything? The smell I smell smells of corpses. Yeah. The smell I smell stinks of a pigsty. Madre de Dios! I need you to make jokes by the great bull of Basin. Let's have a friendly little fight. Be quiet. Chips. Two hundred. I'll see you. Chica! The whip! And hurry! Don't waste energy, Ramon. Americanos like these should die like dogs. And the sooner they're buried, the better. No, I want them to die slowly and suffer as they die. We'll see if they make any more funny jokes. You and your friend would like to die, wouldn't you, Keeler? Well, you are out of luck. Too bad. Well, there's nothing new in that. You should have thought up some better ideas. Right, Ramon? <coughs> I got plenty ideas. <coughs> <coughs> I got many ideas. You did. Take these. Great job. I got many ideas. What did I tell you? No imagination. You're quite right. These Mexicans ain't got no brains at all. You'll be begging me to kill you before I get through. <laughs> you ought to kill me, Mexicano, before I surprise you and turn the tables on you, you dirty little rat. Pass. Every time there's a big stake, I remember a certain promise of yours, Ramon. I had it for me. Two hundred. You ain't so clever, Ramon. While you're having fun with us, someone's stealing your blood. Ah, I got three aces. What are you saying? I know someone else who steals. A gambler. There's five aces or more in his pack of cards. I call you. Can you do any better than that, Fulton? What about showing us the cards, Fulton? Are you going to take the word of a filthy hired killer? Of course not. Well, let's see them just the same. Hola, Fulton. What are you waiting for? And you pass with the full house just like that? Calm down, amigo. I was merely raising the ante. No point in losing your tempers. You have been cheating me for too long. Just a way to raise your jackpot, eh? I want my money back. So do I. Yeah, what is going on here? I want an explanation, Fulton. It's in the rules of the game. Anyone can pass with cards in his hand. Yes, anyone. Uh -huh. But not you. You are too greedy to do a thing like that. You've been playing with us with one idea in your mind, getting our money off us. I'll kill him. I want to kill him. I want to get one thing clear. What brought you to these parts, huh? Come on, answer him! Must your tongue? I'm beginning to see things clearly. You're much too clever, amigo, see? How is it the killer knows you so well, huh? How do we know he hasn't been cheating us all along? Ever since I've been playing with him, he's always won. Why, yes, that's very true. Oh, no! The prisoners have escaped! Cabrones, cabo en sus madres! A caballo! Them down. They can't have
You. Only you can tell me how they escaped, huh? <laughs> you did, Yankee beach that you are. Haven't I told you to be careful how you tried my patience? <laughs> if you haven't cheated me, the man's yours. But if you cheated me, I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. Mouse, you come too. And don't forget that this is a matter of life and death. Pablo, you must stay here and keep your eyes open. Don't worry, Ramon. I'll shoot at the slightest movement. And if we find the killer, he'll be the stake for our next game of poker. Domenido? Domenido. Let's go back inside. Maybe it's better to wait. What do you want? Don't be frightened. Get out! I won't hurt you. Senor, no, please. Don't kill me. I can be useful to you, the ghost. What do you mean? The bank. Easy. Let him talk. Uh, the gold at the bank at Silver City. Please, I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you where it's hidden, the gold. Now, listen. If there ain't no gold... But what I've said is true. All right, if it isn't, take us to it. Vamos, vamos, before Ramon gets back. Oh, no. Si, si, senor. Come on. Here, this is where the gold is. The gold from the bank. The bank at Silver City, si. Get it. Look, senor, si, si. I'm digging. Yes, yes look. Si, si. Look. 
like a great bull of Bashan. Look at all them sacks of gold. Once you get it into your head to really achieve something, right? Gracias. Have you got any yourself? Yes, I have. Here you go. A gold from the bank at Silver City, which you weren't capable of recovering, in spite of your bright idea of stopping me. So you're more capable than I am, is that what you mean? But I'd remind you I succeeded in saving you from the bandits. However, I'm very grateful to you, whatever your name is. I shall leave tomorrow with the first stage. At last I can deliver the gold to the bank. They'll be very pleased in Silver City. Where you'll boast about your abilities. Who knows? Can I offer you a drink? Ah, now that's a real bright idea. <laughs> a little shot never did anyone any harm. <laughs> well, that there bright idea is not the first one our kind Mr. Fulton's had. Did you hear that, Lindissima? Drinks for everybody. Are you satisfied now, senorita? You remember, as I told you, something is always likely to happen. All you have to do is be patient. And wait for the others to come forward and do something for you. One moment, Mr. Fulton. The stagecoach arrives here tomorrow. You think it's uh, possible that... The Cortez want that gold. They'll be hopping. Yeah, you're right. When they find them empty boxes, they'll jump. They'll fairly jump with joy. <laughs> Grand vote, I make you pay. I told you so. You touched the camera too much. You never listened to me. Now look what's happened. Didn't I say we should divide, Raymond? Where is my share now? I was expecting this. Uh, I should have killed a gambler, I told you. How do you know he did it? He's been taken for a sucker, and now he has all the gold. I want my share. Where is it? You're so damn clever, Raymond. Do something, and fast! Goodness. ¿Qué pasa? Saddle. 
they killed Pablo and they took away all our gold. We gotta move quick before they're gone. Todos a caballo. Vamos, shoot them on sight. Ramon, wait a minute. I got to talk to you. No, no, I got no time. You better listen to me. It concerns the gold. Habla, but be quick about it. There is no hurry. The gold won't be leaving till tomorrow. Hijo de una puta yankee. That filthy yankee, and when I think I trusted him. You are too unsuspecting. Unsuspect. It's true, Paco. Unsuspecting. That's the way I am. Everybody knows it. I've always been that way. I'm not going to change. Just a minute. They're leaving on the stagecoach from Rio Nuevo. Si. What are you thinking about, Pilar? The stagecoach. Amigo. Well done. You stopped just in time. <laughs> if you behave this time, you won't have any trouble with us. You're wasting your time. There's only a friar on board. A friar? Yes, a friar. And a fat one, too. Come on, Father. Out. Ox Vobisco, my sons. <clears throat> The ways of God are inscrutable. I'm very sorry, Father, but you will have to continue your journey on foot. Oh, well, patience is a virtue. It was the first time I rode in a coach. Fiat voluntas day. Good morning to you, Doña Dolores. I hope you slept well. The excitement these past few days has made me very nervous. I don't sleep very well. Put these plates away, por favor. I don't see your friends. I hope they haven't left without pain. You know, it sometimes happens in a posada, and I wouldn't like it to happen here. No reason to worry. And they're not really the kind to skip out without paying. Oh.
Hold on! Show your face out here! Your time has come! Niño Dios! ¿Qué pasa, señor Fulton?
señor Futon. Don't you stand there, I beg you, do something. Santa Madre de Dios! I'm afraid I can't. Someone unloaded my pistol. Tell your friends to put down their guns immediately. Otherwise, I'll shoot you and the girl. Give me that pistol. If you come any closer, I'm going to shoot you down like a dog. I said I want that pistol. There's one more favor I'd like to ask from you, Doña Dolores. Would you mind giving me the letter you stole from me? Thank you. Holding my account's closed. And you'd better get the gold from outside if you... Uh... Want the Silver City Bank to open up again. As you know, this badge of mine isn't worth much here in Mexico, but I wear it just for the fun of it. <laughs> Sorry, Doña Dolores. You don't know how to treat your guests. You mustn't unload their pistols or rifle their baggage either. Now come. The police will be very anxious to hear your whole explanation. Even in Mexico, there's the law. If you don't mind, I'll take back my locket. <laughs> and this is the reward for the Cortez brothers. It's all yours. Well, well. What a nice surprise this is. And surprise for surprise, Sheriff. May I introduce my fiance? My name's Susan Crane. When I was kidnapped, Django and I were going to be married. Comprende, Sheriff? I ain't no killer. You might as well give that reward to charity. I'm glad to hear it. Otherwise, I'd have been disappointed in you. Thanks, Mr. Fulton. That's mighty kind. The reason I came to the Posada was to free Susan and to avenge the murder of her mother and father. I imagine that our friend Pickwick will enjoy collecting the reward. No thanks. No fool blood money's gonna dirty up my pretty little hands. Pickwick, why don't you be a pal and tell us why you're so fond of your grandpa's saddle? I don't need any rewards. I was going back to take possession of my ranch. You got a ranch? You out of your head? A ranch with 3,000 head of cattle or more. A little legacy from Grandpa. I stopped for a shot of whiskey. They asked me to play poker. And there you are. They took you for a regular old dude, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come along, Susan. The worst is over. The best is just beginning. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,